Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So today we're gonna to answer a pretty cool question. Which inverter has the cleaner output? So I have my EG4 12,000 XP. This is an off-grid inverter, puts out 12,000 watts versus the Solus S6 hybrid inverter that is 11,400 watts. So behind me, I have my oscilloscope set up. What we're gonna do is switch between the two inverters and see which one has the cleanest output. All right, so first we're gonna test the 12,000 XP, actually the two 12,000 XP. So I have them paralleled right now. Both of the breakers are turned on. I have the breaker for the Solus off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the sine wave output in parallel first, and then a single inverter, and then we will compare it against the Solus. Here's the output of my two 12,000 XPs running in parallel right now. Hopefully you can see this. It is very, very clean, the output on it. You can see no jaggedy edges to it, nice and smooth at the top and bottom peaks. And this is with both inverters, you can see they're both green, both inverters in parallel. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna shut down one of the two inverters. So now we're going on a single inverter it looks pretty much identical as it did before, which it should because whenever that you're running in parallel, the two inverters sync. Now I've, I've heard people uh, say that potentially there's issues with running inverters in parallel and getting them to sync. Once again, you have to do the proper procedure, make sure the software is set up correctly, make sure that you test the first time. And then after that, each time that you go to flip them on, there's no issues. All right, so you saw the sine wave there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to shut this off. Hopefully no one has a fear of the dark and we're going to turn this one on. So this is the Solus. And we're gonna flip this on. Okay, power is back on in the shop. There you go. Now pay close attention. You can see it still is a pure sine wave output on it, but do you see the jaggedy edges both going up and going down? So let me, let me try to point this out here. So if you look, see that jaggedy edge right there? And then also at the peaks, you see it's not perfectly round as it should be compared to the 12,000 XP. So that's key. It's not as clean as the 12,000 XP. Now it is definitely a, a pure sine wave and it's not a, a very dirty output, but it's definitely not as clean as the 12,000 XP. What does that mean? That means when you're running your 12,000 XP and you have sensitive electronics, it will be a little bit easier on them. It will be much closer to what your natural grid output would be. The other thing too is if you're running any heavy duty motors, they're gonna run a little bit cooler because it has a better sine wave. And if you have equipment with transformers, such as an amplifier, you're not gonna have that transformer hum. And I'll show you that. So I'm going to power on this Yamaha Class A amp. So as you can see here, I have the speakers. Here they are on. No sound out of the speakers. Off. No sound out of the speakers once again. But it doesn't change, so I've got this up to it. Hopefully you can hear this transformer. That's pretty loud. Now watch this. I'm going to switch over to the 12,000 XP. So the first thing that I'm going to do is shut this off. 12,000 XP goes on. and it is silent. So 
amps on. Protection circuit has cleared. There you go. No hum whatsoever. So that just shows you what the sine wave was trying to say that the 12,000 XP had a cleaner output. So we're going to look at this one more time. 12,000 XP. See the sine wave as it rises up? There's no jaggedy edges. Look at the peaks. Look at how nice and rounded that it is both the top and bottom. That's very, very clean. And we're gonna switch back over again. Once again, see the bottom, that jaggedy edge there? at the halfway point, and then at the very top. It's not as clean as I would want it to be. And now the amplifier. Hopefully you can hear that. So in summary, the 12,000 XP being the beast that it is, is the winner of this test. It definitely has a cleaner output then the Solus, the Solus is a pure sine wave inverter. We saw that it had a pure sine wave output, but the 12,000 XP looks almost identical to what a regular grid would look like, which is beautiful. That's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.